take my video and stuff off. Okay. All right, happy to have everybody on tonight. My name is Sarah and I'm here tonight with Victoria. Um, Victoria and I will be talking to you all about a few things. Um, we're basically gonna be going through six different ways that you can decrease your exhaustion and achieve your dreams all at the same time. And it, we're gonna explain to you all how we are actually doing that in our side job and how it has really truly changed our lives. So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce, introduce myself and and then Victoria can do the same and then we'll get going. So my name is Sarah and I have three little children. I have a eight-year-old, a six-year-old, and a three-year-old, two girls and a little boy. Um, I actually work at home now. I'm a personal trainer and a group fitness instructor. I also run my own uh, fitness business and then I am a Beachbody coach as well. So I have a partnership with Beachbody in addition to what I do um, with my own health and fitness related items. However, I was not always a coach and I was not always doing fitness full, full time. Um, I was a speech pathologist for years and worked that full time and then part time when I had children. So I have background in health and wellness, but i um, doing this more as my full time job now and loving every second of it. So that's just a very quick snippet of my background. I'll let Victoria go ahead and tell you about hers and then we'll get running here. Hi, um, I'm Victoria Bremlow. I am a mom of two little boys. They're five and 19 months, and I am a full-time working mom. I work as a nurse practitioner in a uh, women's oncology office, and it's you know Monday through Friday, hustle and bustle, you know, not, uh, eight to five, six, seven sometimes. Um, and I became a Beachbody coach last year, uh, around July, in hopes to um, make some extra money so um, I could decrease some of my um, my full-time working commitments and to also, you know, just get focused on my own health and fitness and to hopefully encourage others because I, um, I love health and fitness is what I present to my patients and to hopefully, you know, make that more of a, um, of a career too. Um, so that's, um, and I'm also, I'm married and we've been married for seven years and, um, and, He's going to start staying at home, actually, uh, later on this year. So that's another encouragement for me to be a uh, beach body coach. So, Awesome. Thanks, Victoria. So we're going to go ahead and get started talking about our tips that we have for you and how they relate to what we're doing and how they've actually changed how we feel about just life in general and how it's changed us from the inside out. So the first tip that we have for you tonight is to schedule your day. This is so important and it's really important whether you are a stay-at-home mom, a full-time working mom, wife, woman, man, whoever you are, if you're not scheduling your day, the time gets away from you, regardless of whether you're at work all day or you're at home. And I'll explain this to you very quickly in the way that I have experienced it personally. And that is that, well, first of all, we all have the same 24 hours in a day, right? We don't have any other hours. We all have that same time. Um, and we all need seven to eight hours of sleep at night. Those are just the basics. But what we do with the rest of that time is truly up to us. So I used to work full time as a speech pathologist at Vanderbilt University before I had kids and I worked many, many hours there. I came home and I did paperwork. I truly felt at that time that I had no, no time, no extra time. I didn't have time to cook. I didn't have time to do laundry, any of that. Then I had our first child, our first daughter. And I started working three days a week at that moment. She had a heart arrhythmia, so she had somewhat of a special need, which meant I had additional doctor's appointments and et cetera to do on my days off, which led me to be in the same position. I thought working part-time would actually give me more time, but it gave me less time. I felt stressed. I felt overwhelmed with my work um, items and then my, my, the things I needed to do with my children or that one child at the time. So then fast forward, I had another baby. I had two at that point, and then I was still working three days a week. Still felt like I did not have the time that I needed to do everything that was required of me. Cleaning the house, teaching my classes, working my children, all of that. It, it was stressful. 
Then I had another child <laughs> on top of all of that. Then I had baby number three. At that point, I decided I was no longer going to work outside of my home because it just didn't make sense because I already felt like I was pulled in many different directions. And honestly, at that point, I really wasn't being a Beachbody coach at the time. I simply felt stressed and I felt like I needed some sort of schedule to my day. So I decided to stay home and I decided to really focus on health and fitness a little bit more full time, full time meaning I spent probably an hour a day on it. Um, and so scheduling your day is important because at that moment I decided I was no longer using that excuse. I was no longer using the excuse that, well, now I'm a stay at home mom and the hours, if you're a stay at home mom, you know, can get away from you very quickly, even when you're at home. So it doesn't matter whether you're working or whether you're at home, the time can get away from you. And so scheduling your day is so incredibly important, whether you're working or not. And just quickly, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I do that for myself. Um, every day for me is different because like I said, I teach classes, I see clients at different times, different days, my kids have activities. So I pulled out a piece of paper every day, had a different piece of paper. I wrote down every single time throughout the day that I was awake. 6 a.m., 7 a.m., whatever. I assigned every single hour something. So at 6 a.m. was maybe breakfast time. That was family time. So every time had something it was assigned to. It was either family time, it was work time, it was time where I was making money, it was house chores, it was kid time, whatever. And I color coded everything. If I had time that did not have an assigned slot, I filled it with something that I loved to do, which was working with people on health and fitness. And so that is how I scheduled my time to actually feel like I created more time out of my day, which clearly I did not, but that's how I found the time to work this business. And I, I honestly believe that we are big time suckers. Um, we suck our own time out. Um, these things right here do that really well. Um, before you know it, you have wasted hours of your day. But if you sit down and you really try to schedule what you're doing every day, it is possible. Um, and you know, if you, if you think about it in, in terms of what you want out of life, your financial freedom, something for your family, um, achieving more in life, it just takes a little bit of discipline, but it is truly possible for anyone to find a few minutes in their day. So that's a little bit about scheduling your time. I think Victoria is going to pick up with uh, doing some workouts. Yeah. So um, I was going to talk to you guys about working out and exercising. So what I recommend to you all is working out daily. And yeah, I said it. And you know, some people don't want to hear that. And you know, they're like, Oh, that's, that's lame. I, I can't do that. But you know, a lot of people start out a workout program or start exercising in efforts to, to lose weight. And that's great. But you know, to be honest with you, you can actually lose weight by not working out at all. So the way I want you guys to see working out is to not just lose weight, but to also see it as a way to clear your mind and to decrease the stress in your life. So like I said before, I'm a nurse practitioner primarily taking care of women. And one of their top complaints that I have in my office is fatigue and no energy, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And so when I ask them what they do for exercise, the what answer I get is, silence. It's just crickets. They don't say anything because why? They're not doing anything. And so what I say to them is that if you take 30 minutes of your day to work out or to do some sort of physical activity, whether it's actually doing a fitness program or going to the gym or running outside with your kids, you will have um, less depression. You will have more energy and a higher sex drive. What? And so, you know, working out is a lot cheaper than any medication that you can get for any of those things that I just said, and it has less side effects. So what I recommend to my patients is working out 30 minutes a day, four or five times a week, and finding the time however you can fit it in there. So the way I find the time is being a full-time working mom, and I get up at sometimes 4, 30, 5 o'clock to get my workout in before my boys wake up. Um, and before I had to be at work at eight o'clock. So, um, and I do the 30 minutes and, you know, that's what I love about the beach body programs is that you can find programs that are just 30 to 40 minutes a day that require, don't require any fancy equipment or anything like that. Um, and then you get in a good workout burning, you know, 
200, 300, 400 calories in that one setting and you feel great. And so when I started um, Beachbody last year, that was one of the things I was struggling with as being a mom was having you know, low self-esteem and decreased energy. I mean, I'd lost all the baby weight. That was gone. I mean, that wasn't an issue. It was just the way I felt about myself and my energy. And once I did start working out on a regular basis, I felt so much better and had so much energy for my kids that it was just a complete 180 when I started doing those things. So that's the things that I try to you know, encourage other women to do is getting that workout in, not only to lose weight, but to help your body and your mind feel better. Awesome. Thanks, Victoria. So our next topic is accountability and accountability being key here. So, you know, we all need accountability, whether it is health and fitness related, whether it is work related, whether it's just doing the laundry. Um, accountability is super important in our daily life. And so I'm a fitness instructor and a personal trainer. I love having the support from my clients to hold me accountable. I'm not an exception to the rule at all. Um, they help me walk the walk and talk the talk truly every single day. One of my favorite things that we do as Beachbody coaches is that we host monthly wellness accountability groups. They are constant reminders for us as coaches to stay on track. And I also love that it pushes me to try new things um, with fitness programs, with nutrition plans. I'm always coming up with new ideas because my participants are giving me those. And we always walk away from these groups with great ideas from our fellow coaches as well. So it is very true. There's success in numbers. And when we join for forces, we are truly powerhouses. And as a coach, you never have to struggle with health and fitness alone. We're all there for each other in all seasons of life. And so it brings me great joy to see our motivation as coaches really resonate with our participants. And I really cannot think of a more fulfilling job to help people get healthier and more and more fit. I think uh, Victoria's going next for some nutrition. Yeah, um, so I'll try to be you know really quick about nutrition because there's just so much that you can really talk about it. So um, one of the things I just uh, wanted to talk about with nutrition specifically, not you know calories or macros or anything like that, because that's just a whole other webinar in itself. But to talk to you all about the quality of food and how the quality of your food really affects that how you feel and can can make you exhausted so you know the sayings are true that if you eat crap you feel like crap and another one of my favorites is um you are what you eat so if you um you know another thing when I you know talk to my patients about you know if they're having a lot of fatigue or exhaustion and, and those type of things is you know I ask them about their diet and most of the time it's they're not eating enough or the quality of their food. So it's you know, fast food or lots of processed foods. So if you try to eat more of a, you know, a cleaner diet and getting in that nutrition that you need and staying away from the fast foods and you know, bringing your, your food, your uh, lunch to work and not eating the, the takeout and things like that and, and really focusing on fixing those dinners at home and, um, and not having you know, all the, the box dinners or you know, the frozen dinners and those type of things, and then you, your body will feel a whole lot better. And so one of the ways that um, through Beachbody that I have been able to get in my daily dense nutrition is through Shakeology. And I was wanting to have a little packet to show you guys, but I forgot to bring it up here. <laughs> um, but it has everything that you need in one day in one little packet and can be your whole you know whole meal for uh, for that breakfast lunch or dinner and it has um, all the protein the calories and the carbohydrates and all the uh, phytonutrients and our um, and antioxidants and things to keep you energized um, for that day um, so I always have my shakeology in the morning for breakfast and that is my quick easy breakfast to go um, a lot of times I would skip breakfast before or have you know a, a wonderful Chick-fil-A biscuit, but now with uh, Shakeology, no more. So, um, and it really makes a difference if I skip it. I, my body, uh, in my mind, feels it. So, um, so I think now Sarah's going to talk about. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, yes, I'm, I'm up next, and I just wanted to say, piggyback on that, Shakeology is so awesome. Like, it is such an awesome product. I tried so many protein powders, et cetera, out there for years, and there's just 
really nothing that compares to Shakeology. And the bonus is that it tastes really good and my kids love it. So mm -hmm. we all get super great nutrition every single day. Um, and so if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend that you get a sampler pack and give it a try. But my next topic is, and quickly, cause we are running out of time tonight, but um, we are talking about surrounding yourself with positive, uplifting people who challenge you. And that is truly what I feel every single day. I am surrounded by mainly women on our team, Team Rise Up, and we lift each other up every single day. I feel challenged by them. I feel motivated. I feel encouraged by these women. It is amazing how when we pull together, how we truly can lift each other up. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard about, about the mint, uh, the uh, crab mentality, but I'm an East Coast girl and crabs, when they're put in a cage, they truly, they pull each other down and they try to pull, if somebody's trying to climb out, they pull it back down. And that is what people do to you in a toxic relationship or in any type of toxic environment, they pull you down just like the crab. It's a crab mentality. So if you surround yourself with positive, uplifting people, you build a strong community of positivity, empowerment, and that is what we're doing with Team Rise Up. And every single time I feel discouraged, all I have to do is go to my team page or go to one of my coaches and send them a quick text. I quickly feel that I've turned myself around every single day. So together as a group, it's easy to succeed in this business and help others because you're never alone. Okay, Victoria, go ahead. Hi. So I want to talk to you guys briefly about personal development. And so whenever, when I started to become a beach body coach, I heard, you know, kept hearing personal development and like, really, what is that? What's, what's the purpose of that? And so, you know, just in a nutshell, personal development is just giving yourself a moment in the day to make yourself a better person, a better wife or a better mother or a better employee, you know, whatever area you feel like you need that extra encouragement, that's where personal development will help you be what it is that you want to be. So you can get personal development from whatever, you know, media that you feel like, you know, suits you best. So you can listen to podcasts in the morning where you're getting ready or in the car or a YouTube video or, um, you know, reading a book or doing an audio book, whatever it is in the area of your life that you feel like you need some extra encouragement or motivation or to learn a little bit more, then that's what you listen to. That's what you read or, or, or that's what you do. So the way I get my personal development in, in uh, during the day is usually in the morning. So the mornings is the only time I have a quiet time to myself because people are sleeping. So um, when you have little boys that you get in the moments that you can. So, um, so usually when I'm drying my hair or just getting ready in the morning, I listen to a podcast. And so some of the podcasts I've been listening to lately is the God centered mom. And so that just helps, you know, why walk with Christ and ways to kind of help with disciplining my boys and raising my boys to be the men that they're meant to be. And so that's one of the things I've loved about being a beach body coach is just the encouragement that you get from the company. And then, you know, your upline sponsors like Sarah and then the other coaches that I, I am privileged to be, be around. Um, is getting in that personal development and making myself just a better overall person. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, personal development definitely has changed my life. And I was probably the last to hop on board with personal development because I just wasn't a believer. Um, and it's, it's, it is true. Like it, it'll, it doesn't just change you for business. It changes you as a mom, as a wife. It, it's, it's, all a well, all well-rounded person. So, um, so those are just a few things that we feel like have really changed how we think about things, how we feel physically, um, how we approach life, how we talk to friends, um, you know, our attitudes and that sort of thing just by being a coach. And so that small thing, being a coach, helping people get healthier has changed us more than I can even, I could ever have imagined and never imagined that it would change me the way that it has today um, just because I wanted to help other people. So my motivation is I love, I love wellness. I love health and fitness. Um, I love helping other people. I always want to provide some sort of worthwhile service for other people. Um, but, you know, working in a gym as a trainer, as a fitness instructor, is not a realistic career um, due to time constraints, due to the fact that being an instructor just doesn't make any money. Um, it's just not realistic 
unrealistic to think that you're going to do that as a career. So Beachbody truly gives me the flexibility to do all of it. I can do all of it and I can do it on my own time with my clients on their own time. And so we don't have to get together at 8 a.m. to do a workout. I can do my workout at eight. You can do yours at five whenever you want. And so the flexibility is just incredible for everybody that's involved. So I love every single part about being a Beachbody coach. It doesn't seem like it's work at all to me. It just seems like it's fun, motivating, and encouraging. And uh, Victoria, if you want to go ahead and wrap it up, you're, we're good. Oh, sure. So um, one of the things that I love about being the coach and one of the reasons I signed up is for the, the discount. So I love Beachbody pro products and, you know, everything that I've tried with Beachbody, I've always loved. So, you know, P90X and 21 Day Fix and T25, all of them, you know, the list goes on and on. And so, you know, that's one of the huge motivators for me becoming a coach was the 25% the discount that you get on all the products and the Shakeology. So that's, you know, that helps out. So, um, and then also the motivation that it provides me personally so being a coach you know motivates me to get in my workouts and be you know be healthy just because I can't you know motivate others if I'm not you know doing the the, um, the task myself and so also this gives me an avenue to help you know others in their health and wellness because I'm I'm limited you know to be honest in what I can do in in an office with four walls with a patient sitting there so it's just kind of limiting what you can or, or the time that you have to spend you know as providers we're limited to that 15 minute window is seeing you know patient and all their problems so this gives me a avenue to help people in more of a well-rounded uh, way yeah yeah, I love that. And you know, what I love about all of us on our team is that we all come from different areas. You know, Victoria is a nurse. I was in the health and fitness industry before, but that wasn't my background in school. Um, we have other coaches on the team who had no health and fitness background whatsoever. And so it's not like you have to be in a medical field. You have to be in a health and fitness field at all. Um, it is something that you can do no matter where you're coming from. Um, even if you just are on a fitness journey, you know, we do have coaches on our team who are still feel like they're on a journey. They are still feel like they have daily struggles with, with nutrition and with uh, fitness and all of that. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have a degree in this. You don't have to have everything figured out because that's what is relatable to people. That's why people want to follow you. That's why people want to do challenge groups with you because you are someone who is real. You're someone who shares your struggles, um, shares what's worked for you, what hasn't. Um, and that's that's real. And that's what we all want. We don't want anything that's going to be sugar-coated or look perfect because that idea of perfect just is not a true idea of at all. So, um, we are super excited that you guys joined tonight and I appreciate you guys hanging in with us. I know we had some issues with our link for some reason. So I did record this and I will send out the link if anybody wants to look at it or send it to someone else as well when we're done. Um, but if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me or to Victoria or whoever sent you to this uh, webinar. Please email them or send them a message. And we look forward to talking to you all very soon. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.